6,000 years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Arm Shear, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god, Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Though thousands of years have passed since then, history has a way of repeating itself. According to the calendar of the ancients, the year of the Scorpion is once again upon us. Though my old friends Rick and Evie, and now their son Alex, think only to spend their days in pursuit of knowledge and treasure, they will soon find themselves on the path of danger once more. Stumbling through the ruins of the ancient past, they uncover an accursed treasure that leads them to their destined place in the ultimate battle between good and evil. For the mummy returns. It's so dark in here, Rick. And yet, it's all so familiar. Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand years or so, why is there a burning torch right over there? Take your pick, darling. Could be grave robbers, treasure seekers, or just the eternal flame of the damned. Now you're talking! I pick grave robbers. Can we go now? I can hardly make out a single hieroglyph. And yet, something tells me I've seen this all before, as if in a dream. What, sand, scarabs, scorpions? Darling, throw in an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. Scorpions? Where? Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Whoa! Alex, you all right? I think so, but I fell down some kind of steep chute, and I can't get back up it. I broke the temple, Mom. Oh, Alex, can you tell me where you are? Can you see anything? Uh, not much. I'm in a huge room filled with giant statues, but I can't see much else. It's really dark in here. Don't worry, Alex. We'll be right there. We've got to find another way down there. Come on, let's go. Oh, 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 oh,
sort of ancient crypt. Look, this chamber is the final resting place of a most beloved servant of the Scorpion King himself. Apparently he's some sort of guardian. Guardian of the keys, actually. And the rest is just a lot of the usual gibberish about how all who enter here will die a thousand deaths and... Gibberish? Hmm, maybe we should skip this room. Come on, we've got to find Alex. Unbelievable! The chamber of the Scorpion King. Whew, I hate to think what's in there. Mom! Dad! I'm in here! Is that you? You've got to get me out of here! Alex! Hang on! We'll hurry! It won't budge. All right. Let's try it your way. Can you read the instructions on this thing? There's something here about four keys. No, no, not keys exactly. Four immense rubies that act like keys. We've got to place them into this cartouche, and the Scorpion King will be appeased and let us enter. There. That doesn't sound so bad, Alex. We'll just go take a look around for those rubies and come directly back for you. All right. Let's do it.
Oh, <laughs> oh, 